Greetings, fellow interloper. It's Taylor. You know, let's just get right into it. You saw the thumbnail. You know what we're doing, right? Here are five things you maybe possibly did not know about that might be pretty damn useful. Now, if you're a newcomer to the universe, first off, welcome. You'll find this especially helpful. And even though this list is just five, I do have a couple honorable mentions to throw out. So make sure and stick around for that, because one is something we all like. Free nanites. So coming in at number five, when you're on the anomaly, up in the teleport menu, you'll see three featured bases. These are usually in Euclid, the starter galaxy. But with the featured bases hopefully getting a more frequent refresh, you never know what galaxy you'll have immediate access to. And as of today's date, you can visit this space for a one-way ticket to paradise. No, really. The space is in Isentom, which is the first lush galaxy you'll get to if you do the whole galaxy hopping thing. This one is Galaxy 10, so if you enjoy finding paradise planets, trust me, they're a whole lot easier to find in a lush galaxy like this one. Oh, and if you haven't visited this space yet, you gotta check it out. I gotta say, the bathroom is epic. So Kim, if you happen to be watching, nice work on the bathroom. Number four may not seem like much, but when you're in the galaxy map and say you're testing your hyperdrive capabilities or just want to go as far away as possible, if you hold down the RB on Xbox or R2 on PlayStation, you'll zip around faster than a Jason Play speedrun. Hey, if you have the amount of patience I have for these things, you'll really appreciate this one. Honestly, I'm pretty surprised at the amount of people that didn't know this even existed. Number three, if you're shopping for a new solar ship, obviously one of the most important characteristics are the shape and the color of the solar sails. The frustrating part is that you get no preview of these sails unless you own it. Only then will they show up in the ship menu. So yeah, you need to buy it and just reload if it's not your thing. A tactic I like to use is to head to an outlaw system because the solar ships have a very high spawn rate there. Now I hang out in my ship with the internal view selected. You'll have to wait a bit while the system ships load in, but after a while, you can cycle through every ship that's currently out in space with left or right on the D-pad. And there we go, an easy way to check out a ship's sail type and color without even leaving your ship. Now when I do find something that kind of interests me, I'll fly really close and then quit going to camera mode to see if the color and body style are something I'm after. This may not be any faster than the other way, but I think it's a little more fun myself. All right, moving on to number two. How many times have you used the build camera and tried to build outward? only to be met with the awesome white boundary limits. Well, here's one for you. Once you hit that limit, you can reset the camera by double clicking in on the left thumbstick. So now you can see we've re-centered the camera and can continue to build outward. And if you're wondering how far you can go, I usually get to the 300U limit from the base, which is like five or six double clicks, five or six resets of the camera before it kind of rubber bands my camera back to where I'm standing. Oh, and here we go, number one. Those fancy new garden rooms you're putting in your freighter? Well, they might hold some spots for your plants, but they themselves have the gift that keeps on giving. Take a look at their walls, see that blue light? Yeah, that's the same light that's on the floor panels which allows you to harvest all in one click. Well, now you can snag a little carbon for your trouble. And don't forget about the corners now. You'll find the amount is kinda all over the place, I've gotten as low as like 62, and the high, I think my record is 113, something like that. Pretty sure that's the world record. Anyone want to try to beat me, go ahead and throw it down in the comments. I'll have no choice but to believe you, of course. And as promised, here's a couple honorable mentions. This is an oldie, but a goodie. But if you're new to the game, pretty much well, everything's a goodie. Next time you're in a Viking system, don't pass up going into the room on the left. This is the one on the mission agent side. And you can score some free nanites. I know it's not a ton, but here's 40. So about 14, 15 trips to a space station and you have a free S-Class upgrade. Not too bad for a small detour in a place you're going to be at anyway. So this is the one I decided to include, you know, for getting free nanites because, well, I bet you do a fair amount of traveling by freighter. You have your scanner room at the ready, and you not only scan all the planets when you arrive in a system, 
but you upload those discoveries for some super easy nanites. You do that already, right? Right. The beauty of it is, if you've discovered a lot of planets and have not uploaded in quite some time, you're probably gonna have quite a few nanites once you do. You can upload a planet, you know, one at a time if you feel like renaming anything, or you can just hit the upload all for the fastest and easiest method. Okay, so for the second honorable mention, now there's a reason this last one is an honorable mention, because it's not that big a deal, but if you've ever tried to see the color of a ship when you're in the outlaw station, you know it can be a challenge. Come on guys, is this a proper outlaw station or a fucking toaster oven? Sorry. This is easy as turning your flashlight on and voila, you can actually see the damn color. And that, my friends, is that. Thanks so much for watching. This is Taylor with Whiskey Barrel Gaming. Have an S-Class day, everybody.